Hey my friend, today let's explore the Strymon Big Sky again. I got a great question from a student. Uh, basically, they want to know what is the difference between the freeze and the infinite function on the Big Sky and how I would use them. So if you didn't know it, on the Big Sky you can hold any patch you are on. So in my case I am on bank A. I can hold the foot switch and that's going to freeze the reverb in the background. But there are two different modes for it and they interact differently with your playing. So how you can access that with any patch. So right now I am in the cloud mode, but it doesn't matter. It works with every mode. You can click on the value button and now you access the inside parameters and you can scroll until you see the hold function. So you have boost, persist, and hold. Now you click once more. And now you can choose between freeze and infinite. And they are not the same. So let's start with infinite. When I am on the infinite mode, I can, uh, once again, freeze the chord by holding the switch. But whatever I'm going to be playing on top after I'm holding the switch is also going to be added to my pad. So everything is affected uh, with the reverb right here. So if I play this chord Now it's frozen, but if I play on top it sounds like this So you see it creates a nice pad but it can become very chaotic if you play too much on top because everything is added to the pad. So the solution to that if you don't want it to become chaotic is to come back on the hold function and this time choose the freeze function. So now the freeze function is different because you can still uh, hold your chord by holding the switch but when you're going to be playing on top it's not going to be affected uh, with the reverb now it's going to be dry on top so once again now when i play So you see now it's completely dry, but now there has to be a compromise between both of them because if you use the infinite mode, that's going to become chaotic in no time if you want to jam and play on top. But if you use the freeze mode, it's completely dry, so it lacks some kind of ambience on top. So the first thing you can do is to have another reverb pedal that is placed before the big sky. So in my case, you barely see it on the frame, but I have my new neighbor Immerse Mark II that is placed before the big sky. So in that case, I can stay in the freeze mode. I can freeze my, my uh, chord and then I turn on my reverb that is placed before it so that I can have some amb ambience, but it's not going to last indefinitely like on the infinite mode so it's a great compromise so if I do that and then I turn on my reverb before it now I can have nice to jam on top like this and maybe a second alternative could be to freeze your chord with uh, the big sky and then have a looper that is placed after the big sky and then you, you record a loop of your kind of pad right here and then you can um, stop holding the switch and you can jam with your patches the patches of your choice on the big sky so once again if I do this 
And now my looper is out of the frame, but I can click on the loop. I can close it and release my foot. And now what you're hearing is only my loop. And now I could jam on top with the big sky with that patch. And then you can fade out your loop or just remove it like this. So that these are the two alternatives that I use if I want to use the freeze function of the big sky. It's either to use the freeze mode instead of the infinite mode and have a reverb that is placed before it or freeze it in any mode you want and then use a looper to keep your frozen pad and then you can do whatever you want on top with your other Pedal. So I hope it answered your questions. Uh, if you are new on my channel and it's your, your first time, I am offering a free mini course to get started writing ambient guitar music. So you can click on the first link in the description box and get my course for free. This is my gift to new viewers and if you want to get into the world of ambient guitar. And you can also subscribe to the channel. I have uh, new videos coming every week to teach you about ambient guitar and chords and good stuff like this. So make sure that you stick around. All right, thanks for watching my video and until next time, au revoir.